I learned today. These plants are called red mangroves. Hi, th- these are mangrove seed pots. They come from mangroves, um, red mangrove trees. Where do red mangroves live? Mangroves live in water. Do you remember the difference between red mangroves and others? They have very long prop roots. Yeah. What are prop roots? Um, prop roots um, suck up oxygen because they um, trees can't live without oxygen. Red mangroves have tall, tangled prop roots that filter air while underwater. The prop roots anchor mangroves and protect them from high tides, strong currents, and violent storms. Prop roots are like snorkels for red mangroves, helping them breathe underwater. They also provide shade and shelter for aquatic plants and marine life. Are red mangroves helpful in other ways? Um, they like help with tide changes too. And if there's a hurricane coming, they can stop the big waves from like flooding and stuff in cities and other places. So they're pretty important? Mm-hmm. These photos demonstrate how red mangroves protect homes and shorelines. Notice the top photo contains red mangroves along the shore, whereas the bottom photo does not. Which one looks like a safer place to live? What are their seeds called? A nickname for them is called is vivipary. This is what they look like when they are about to grow as a mango. A propicule is the scientific name for a red mango vivipary. A vivipary is a seed that germinates before dropping from its parent plant. Corn, strawberries, and oranges are other viviparous plants. Do you know any jokes about red mangroves? I want to tell you a joke about them. Who, did, who made up the joke? Me. What did the baby mang- seed pods say to the mommy um, mangrove? I don't know. I have to go to the bank. <laughs> and Why I, is it going to the bank? Because they have to look for a sand bank to grow. What are you doing with those seed pods? I'm going to be letting all of these go. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to Toby's Amazing Adventures!